Today is 17th of January. Market trade slightly positive, up 8 point to close at 3255. In the morning, sir, we actually saw uh, some downward move, managed to recover in the afternoon, and trading a bottoming tail. We slightly below average volume and close near its high. It is now hovering just below this resistance here of 3285. Immediate support is at 3220. More significant one is at 3200. The market has been tracing a higher lows and right now approaching this resistance. We'd like to see it take out this resistance here with good volume that will augur well for the market in general. Now today move actually appeared to be a rest just below the resistance after yesterday's strong upward move. So we'd like to actually see how it turned out next week. Now let's take a look at a strong start. This is Jaffa after a period of consolidations managed to stage a wide range bar yesterday a breakout and today trade a inside day look for a break above this high here of uh, 655 uh, notice this area here which I draw the two lines are the high volume area so it provides some kind of support during the pullback now we saw something similar in the Olam yesterday we have a very nice trust bars followed by inside day a rabbit head set up Look for a break above this high here, 197. Just be mindful, it's actually quite near this resistance. So if a break on the upside, we go for it, you may well take out this resistance at the same time. Now Sarin has been actually consolidating sideways after this strong upward move. And this is the cooling pillar after a strong upward move. Uh, today, gap up, but actually fail. Likely to pull back, like to see the quality of a pullback. If it's shallows, that will be generally healthy and eventually like to see it take out this high here of 425. Some power. Now this stock is actually hovering at this resistance and uh, it managed to actually take it out and followed by a pullback. Generally trading sideways, notice the volume actually taper off like to wait for it to finish its consolidations and take out this high here of 64 cent. Now we'll be discussing manufacturing stocks uh, for quite some time. Uh, most of them are just trading sideways. This is AEM. Uh, perhaps the only stock that actually moved up after the uh, earning guidance. Over here, two gaps considered strong and uh, followed by a series of sideways bar. Here we have a small deeper sellout. Look for a break above the high of 222. Now as mentioned most of them are actually consolidating so we need patience to wait it up. This is Franken. After the strong run up it's actually trading sideways. Alright right now it's stuck in the trading range so we just have to wait for it to complete and eventually take out the recent high here. Uh, UMS Again, quite similar patterns. After a run up, it's actually trade sideways. Uh, wait for it to complete its consolidations and take out 110. Now, a less discussed talks recently actually moved up in the same sectors. It's actually Fuyu. Now, Fuyu is a stock uh, that's actually sluggish. We notice a series of overlapping bars, so generally we'll prefer to trade it on the weekly charts. So this is what happens. It's a very big rounding pattern. Uh, it's lasted a couple of years. So eventually, at the resistance level, it, there was a pullback, and it actually managed to actually break on the upside uh, with a long bar, uh, likely to actually pull back. During the pullback, we can look for setups and eventually take a trade on the long side.